that was happening. Here it is, Marvel Legends, Wave 4, Wave 1, 2013, have you? Clayton Crane. Artwork. Man, I love this artwork so much more than Ed McGinnis. Just my preference. Here is Hyperion, Conquering Heroes, because there's going to be a running change, which is Sentry. Comes with two arms, two pistols, to hit Monkey. And here's Hyperion in the packaging. Packaging similar to what we've been getting from the beginning of Wave 1. Hasn't changed, just the artist uh, for the cover art has changed, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's flip this around, get a look at the back of the package. Same artwork here, we've got the full thing. Man, that looks really nice, man. Build a figure collection, Hip Monkey, Sentry, and Hyperion. Man, I really like this Sentry, man. I really hope they, they go with that paint scheme, uh, kind of a darker uh, navy blue, close to black on this cape and uh, symbol and gauntlets. Here's Hyperion. Here's uh, Crane Signature. Dated 2012, all those weapons for 2013. All powerful protectors struggling against a heart of deepest darkness. Yeah, these are some bad mofos, man. Really strong characters in the Marvel Universe. Here's the three characters you gotta buy to, to uh, complete your Hitmonkey. So you don't have to buy the whole wave, just three. And the three characters that you're buying are actually characters that are gonna have running changes. So you're gonna get an extra Hitmonkey, whether you like it or not. Here is the pack-in, similar to the rest of the uh, pack-ins, which is, uh, you know, basically <laughs> how to put Hitmonkey together. For all you new guys, uh, Conquering Heroes with Arms and Pistol, right? Warriors of the Mind, Hulkettes. So uh, you just need to buy those three, and uh, you're done with the Hitmonkey. Here's the back, Tales of Hitmonkey, just like the rest of the uh, Build-A-Figures. Gives you a little storyline on Hitmonkey. Get to know him a little bit better. And uh, we'll save that for Hitmonkey. I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys want me to read these tales of Hitmonkey when I review Hitmonkey. Let me know. Alright, let's get on to, uh, to the arms here. Uh, not going to go through a review with these arms. Just going to do a quick glance at. We'll uh, review the character at the end of this wave. Two pistols. Here's... Hyperion! Let's take a look at this figure from top to bottom. We'll go over the cape and why the cape's not completely down on his chest. Uh, it is soft plastic. Here is the new mold. This is a complete new mold. Now, I know a lot of people were complaining about the mold. Uh, not complaining about the mold, but complaining more about the bath. But we got a small bath, but at the same token, we've got a whole new Marvel Legends mold. Completely new here. Um, here's the back of the cape. The cape is removable in two sections. So see that it doesn't quite go all the way down, but nothing a little bit of heat can handle. Um, just heat that up and, and bend it to your liking. Things snug on there, so it doesn't quite, uh, it's not loose. It, it snaps right in there uh, really good. Here's the two pieces of the cape. Let's get a look at the head sculpt. How do I feel about this head sculpt? I think it's really nice, man. I, I like it. Um, it's a good good resemblance of Hyperion. The only th the only gripe I really have with this figure is um, look at the hair hair is sculpted right. I mean it looks great. Just mm, there's no detail. There's no washes in the hair or or the face or the skin tone. Look at that goes all the way back. You could actually bend his torso back and he's got a good flight pl flight pose. Um, it looks great, man. I. I mean, those are one of the things that Hasbro's really improved on is that neck peg joint, having them look all the way up and all the way down. Um, that's something that uh, that we've been wanting as Legends collectors. This head does pop off. It's on a ball peg, so you can switch it around. I don't know, put somebody else's head on there if you want. <laughs> Here is the... Uh, man, look at this sculpt. I like the way they uh, they put the chest up. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, Kind of reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger in his younger days when he used to do that that chest pose and just pop his chest out. It's a great sculpt. Anyways, we'll get into the sculpt. Let's go over the articulation. Uh, we got a ball joint there, right? We got bicep swivel. This new figure, I'm glad they gave him double joints on the elbow. Usually these guys, when they're this big, 
or the mold is this big, they, they just go with a single joint on the elbow, but they gave this mold double joints, which is really good. Um, here's the uh, the peg in right fist, which has got the uh, it's got the disc and the swivel. Check this out, guys. All right, that torso goes down pretty far, and he looks all the way down. Check this out. That's the first time Hasbro's ever made a mold where the torso joint can actually go back, which gets him into a crazy flight pose. I mean, that's that's the first time they've ever done that. That that torso joint ab flex is the most flexible ab flex I've seen in any Marvel Legends figure, hands down. Um, my my figure does have a few paint scuffs, but anyways, here's the uh, waist swivel. Here's that T joint, which works really well, goes all the way up, which is great, man. Um, that combined with the torso flex, this guy can practically kiss his knee, man. Here's that upper thigh swivel, okay. Here's the double jointed knees. Look at that, right? Here's the calf swivel, right? Then we've got the ankle rocker or pivot, whatever you want to call it. It also has the disc joint, which allows it to point all the way down and all the way up, which is really awesome. Let me fix this so I can get him back to stand up. Here he is, Hyperion. Like I said, great figure. Look at that. The symbol is just spot on. No blemishes on the symbol. Um, like I said, it does have a few little paint scubs here and there. Here's the arm. Uh, tons of definition. That You can see whoever sculpted this figure knew how to sculpt. I mean, it, it's got even the vascularity veins in the, in, in the upper arm, um, the top of the palm. Um, I mean, great sculpt, man. I really like it. Like I said, only gripe I have, look at that, veins in the arm both sides only gripe I have is there's just no paint wash or over sprays um, you know great sculpt I mean look at this they went as far as sculpting the nails on the on the fingers um, they put some attention to this this sculpt uh, I don't know who the sculptor is they've been kinda keeping it hush on that but I wouldn't be surprised if it was Dave Cortez Phil Ramirez or one of those guys um, here's the back muscles I mean it's just a great build man this build looks it's kinda Almost uh, kind of reminds me of a WWE build, but just way better articulation. I mean, like I said, double jointed elbows. That ab, that ab flex is crazy. Now these do fit in there really, really snug. And like I said, you got to bend that part. I, I, I'll probably add some uh, hot water to that or blow dryer or whatnot just to get that piece to bend down. But uh, it is a flexible cape. And look at that. You can actually flex the cape to the right or left, which is pretty cool kind of makes me think of Sentry uh, if they're gonna do the same thing with the cape which would be awesome man here's a size comparison right with Warpath which is the mold they're using for the bigger characters like the uh, pile driver and Thunderball Wrecking Crew Wrecking Crew sporting that mold and then we've got the other new mold which is the Bucky Cap which is kind of their I guess their standard mold for the uh, smaller build characters right so look at that he's just he's right in between He's right in between, which is awesome. I mean, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this mold as far as uh, the medium-sized characters like a Luke Cage or or, uh, or some of, like I said, some of the other medium-sized characters. Here he is next to Steve Rogers, which is a little bit on the tall side, uh, shield agent body. Uh, see, see that? O almost about the same height. Just the girth on Hyperion is just, he's just, he's just a big guy, man. He's just thick. Um... He's got that real muscular build. So uh, how, do, how do I feel about this sculpt? Man, this is really, really some piece of work here, man. I, I haven't seen Hasbro do a sculpt like this ever. Um, and like I said, you know, they, they impressed me with the Bucky Cap mold, which was a really nice sculpt. But uh, this one, for a medium, I mean, I can't wait to see what kind of characters. Not only that, but just because of the uh, posability, you're really going to be able to do some cool action shots with Hyperion great ACBA. Like I said, I just hope they step up and go back to giving us some oversprays and some washes uh, in the paint. This guy is just bland. It's the only complaint I have. Uh, everything's just like a flat paint, like a, you know, just basic paint job on this character. Some washes or oversprays would have really, really made this character pop by far. But uh, this is the character, Hyperion, and like I said, new sculpt, 
And this is part of the reason why they gave us the uh, hit monkey. You know, uh, it's because of them spending money on new moles. Now this this is completely worth, completely worth it. Uh, and I'm glad they gave us this character and Sentry in the wave instead of making him a bath, which was talked about earlier. I don't know if you guys remember when they first talked about Hyperion, they were talking about him being an exclusive or a bath. And they just decided to knock all that out and give us this mold and give us two characters with this mold in this wave. Now, um, like I said, being able to put his head up, right? Get him in a flight pose here. See, that doesn't quite look straight ahead, but here we go, watch. See that ab, that, that torso flex there? Now he's looking dead on straight. Great mold. By far one of the best. You know, um, I've already gotten hit up about four or five times, people asking me about doing a Superman custom with this mold, and it would just, it would kick ass, man. You, I mean, he would look straight ahead. Um... Not, you know, you can't get that with DCUC figures. You cannot get them to look back and get them in a good flying pose. Look at that. Hands back. I'm telling you, man. So uh, this is this is actually the better wave of, uh, of the last two waves, I believe. Uh, you know, wave two was actually pretty good. Wave one was pretty good. Um, wave three, which is a rehash of repaints, you know, that kind of just killed Marvel Legends for, I mean, it was just real quiet, man, you know, people were just not really doing anything with Wave 2, um, you know, they were just, they were just kind of thrown on the shelf, like, okay, we got, we got the same characters, repaints, and whatnot, but this, uh, this wave here has given us a lot of new moles, um, and a lot of characters, obscure characters we've been needing in the, uh, Marvel Universe, so, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. We will be uh, doing the Hulkettes next, uh, which is the next uh, review, which is Red She-Hulk. Uh, once again, that's also a new mold, and we'll go on down the line. We've got about six reviews in this wave, uh, and then we'll hit Hit Monkey. So uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe and rate if you haven't. We'll see this wave at the end of January 13, 2013, uh, if we're still alive. We make it through December. Later!